Greetings and salutations. I'm Damien, and this is the Athena Flow Hood Tissue Culture Kit. So I just wanted to kind of give you some of my opinions on this thing since I actually paid for this. I bought it off of Amazon. It was like 2300 bucks. Um, well worth the money for me. I I'm definitely happy with the purchase. So when the thing shows up, for starters, it's huge. The box that it arrives in is heavy as hell. You're going to need two people to get it up to your house. Um, I did. But you break it down and you got the flow hood. And this is the um, one-touch autoclave. Essentially, you're just putting some water in there, distilled water. Put your culture vessels or whatever you're sterilizing in there. Put the lid on, run it. Um, yeah, I got a couple pressure cookers, so that wasn't as exciting. But the flow hood is what I was super excited about. Um, and initially, I was looking for one for growing mushrooms and mycology stuff. But when I saw that Athena released one for uh, tissue culture, I just jumped on it. So what's cool about this is if you're into pheno hunting plants, and um, what I was doing is instead of having to clone your plants before you flower them out, I would basically just take a tissue sample and put it in these. So this here would hold 21 X plants um, versus having to grow 21 plants under lights, feed them nutrients. These I'm just sticking in the Athena VPD dome under a low, low watt light. Um, so for pheno hunting for me this thing was awesome um, it just saves money it saves work and lets me grow more plants so the other main reason I bought this was for doing mycology work um, up until now I had been growing up until I got this I had been growing in a 4x4 grow tent that I got uh, specifically for the purpose of growing shrooms in um, the only thing in there was a folding table and whatever supplies I needed for whatever I was working on. But now instead of doing that, for example, I can do these inoculations under this thing. So essentially the way this works is you just lift up the front hood, it auto turns on, sterilize everything, including your gloves. And then I'm just going to inoculate these two bags that I've already pre-prepared. These are our injection ports. Just stick on. And then alcohol wipes. And I'll leave that on there until I inject the bag. This is liquid culture. And I just use a clean needle every time.
The other thing I like to do, just because these ports sometimes fall off, is I will put a piece of tape over them. This is just micro pour tape, but you can use regular tape. It's just what I have. And that's that. And then as soon as you close the hood, it powers itself back off. What I will say is that it was definitely worth the money for me. Um, I know it's not cheap, but uh, handles. So it's not too bad to move if you want to move it around. Um, and again, for me, it's dual purpose. I can use it for growing mushrooms as well as for uh, tissue culture of cannabis plants, which is another thing. This thing is not just for anybody that's not already aware of what you'd be buying. This thing is not for um, cleaning your plants of hop latent or anything like that. If you need that done, you're going to either be spending money or going to a lab because you really need... Um, a lab and somebody that's trained and knows what they're doing for that work. What this is good for is micropropagation. So again, taking a tissue sample of your plant, put it in one of these, put it back in there, put it under a low wattage light, and while you're flowering your plant out for two months, this thing is just kind of growing out a little bit, right? It's slow, it's not like exponential growth such that when you're done your pheno hunt, when you're done flowering out those plants, if you decide to get rid of 20 out of 21 of these, you just pitch them. Well, I wouldn't throw these away, but you know what I'm saying? You dump what's inside and you can re-sterilize it. But in that case, you that's 20 plants you weren't growing out and feeding for two months. So yeah, the thing's well built, the stuff was well packaged. Um, if you're serious about pheno hunting plants, and if you happen to grow mushrooms too, I would definitely recommend it. All right.